from my personal bag of funky goodies. And um, it's available for free. Anybody can download this. Uh, whether you have EEPROM or not, you can get EEPROM. Uh, I'm sharing them for free. Um, so, the way to get this is to go to the download section of the website. All right. So, you are on the website. Go to download. Resources. You find a plugin. This is EEPROM. And the first thing you see, this is that factory EEPROM library for EEPROM 3. So, let's download this. Bam. All right. So, this is a zip file. Okay. And, uh... All right, let's see. It's there. I'm gonna open this thing. And you can see uh, the Prom library. Okay. You double click on that. And you have this. Okay. So where do you put this thing? So let's see. I'm gonna show you next on PC, by the way. Uh, on, on Mac, sorry. Uh, we are on PC right now. So, uh, where do you put, put, put this thing? It's pretty easy. Uh, you have on the plugin itself. When you go to the Prom right here. And you try to load anything. Uh, you are by default at the, the root of the EEPROM library. And right now you can see it's empty. There's nothing there. You can click on home directory. N nothing, alright? The, the browser, the EEPROM library browser, actually looks at a specific path on your machine. Uh, the path is not the same, of course, on PC or Mac, but this is a specific path. Um, you can see the path if you go to the info right here. You, you can see the path right, right, right there. So it's the exact path. So on PC, this is uh, basically in your user's documents. There's a folder called VPROM library. And this folder is created by default by the plugin. The first time you, you run it. So you don't have to cre create this. Sometimes you may have, in case the plugin uh, would be blocked or something. But logically, th this folder is already there. So you simply need to go there. So let's go there. Let's go there. And we are there. This is right now the path. See, users. Um, my user, so I'm admin on this, uh, but this will be your username, documents, and the VPROM library. So we're in there. Now, you take the thing that is in the zip file, okay? There is simply one folder, factory library, some uh, kit file, I'm gonna explain, and one uh, readme text that you will never read. So, but it's, it's still there. So, let's place the thing right there, take this thing, and let it copy. Okay. So, basically what it does is uh, just, uh, you know, uh, place in there uh, all the binary files, all the EEPROM image, and some kit files, okay? So, once they're there, you will be able to see them in the plugin. And I'm gonna explain why it's important that they are at this exact path. First of all, because uh, the plugin is actually looking only there. So, <laughs> if, you want, <laughs> if you want the files to show up, uh, they better be there. And uh, secondly, it's because of the VPROM kit format. Uh, so we're gonna see this. Yeah. Okay, now, if you try to go here, yeah, still nothing, so I'm refresh. I use a, a refresh, refresh button right there. Oh, now there is some kind of factory library. Okay, that's nice. Um, I can go there. I can see some stuff right here. This is cool, okay. And remember, we have also uh, copied uh, something else in there, the, the, the kit files. But they will, they, they will not be displayed right here, because this thing is just displaying EEPROMs, binary EEPROMs. So all the type files will not show up. So basically here, uh, I got something, I can go to various things, there is some AJ custom prompts, and things like that. Nice. Okay, you can load them uh, and check this out. So here's the cool thing. Now you have uh, what you can call a kit. What is a kit? A kid is actually, uh, basically, uh, your current, uh, custom EEPROM settings. This is, uh, all the, the sounds in their, uh, current EEPROM. This thing will be saved, including the filter settings, which, by the way, if you want the full thing, gotta be set on export mode, alright? And, uh, it will all, also save, <coughs> sorry, it will also save, uh, the actual i add state. Because i can be in, in loop mode. And it can be also in loop mode, uh, free running, or uh, through your sync. And the default on the end one is free running and looping. And you probably know that. So basically, the kit file, let's say, <clears throat> I reset everything. When you reset, by the way, you unload all the EEPROMs, all custom EEPROM, and this, this reverts to the, the basic M1 set. Uh, this is also resetting the I hat loop. So let's say you, you, you have loaded a kit, uh, well the loop is not set, so for, for example on the DMX of the Lindram there is no I hat looping by d default. So this would be, you know, uh, visible. And if you reset, bam, 
right there. You can see it's, it, it, it's a new pulled back again. So let's say I want a lot of kit. I go there, a lot of kit. There is a, there, there's actually a button for that. Okay, it's a lot of kit, safe, safe kit. I love a kit. And I try to go, uh, this is V from library, right there. Uh, and this, this is the, the, the basic kit there. I think the user kit is just a test. It's in the pack, but uh, there's nothing in this. Um, so let's try the GMX. When you load this kit, you can see all the EPROMs are now, you know, uh, set and loaded. And also the same settings uh, are actually updated. Okay, you can see the, the new settings right there. And also you can see that loop uh, is now uh, in a different state. Okay, and you can switch to the skin for the wall experience. But now the actual format uh, of the VPROM kit is saving, this is key, is saving uh, the path, the actual fi file path of the EPROMs. So let's say uh, you install the factory library at the wrong place. You can actually load the kit from anywhere. That's not a problem. But if the kit has been created with, you know, EPROM at a specific path, uh, you have to, to get the same path. All right? If not, um, this will not work. So, let's say, for example, uh, you, if, if you mess up the path, uh, you can load the kit, but you will see only the names, eventually the size, the sizes, but uh, this window will be blanked. Um, there is no... Uh, EPROM waveform, and you can, in, in case you messed up, or someday you, you come up with a kit and uh, there is no change or thing like that, you can actually uh, just see uh, what is the path uh, right there. You can see it. Right here it says factory lib, which is the, you know, the own, uh, uh, own factory library. Uh, and you see, then GMX, GX, uh, GMX stock, and then, then, then the final name of the file itself, this is snare6.bin, alright? So the, the, the small indicator right here is the actual path. So if this is empty and there is a path right here, uh, this is a good in indicator uh, for you to actually check if that the, the path is correct. But if, if you install the thing at the, at the good place, uh, this is okay. Uh, on Mac, this is this path. This path, uh, this path is actually uh, uh, resolved at uh, the user's actually uh, music, do uh, music file, music document. Um, so here we go. Let's say uh, on Mac, uh, I have this thing, so we are on Mac right here. Bam, on directory you can see it's empty. Okay, so uh, let's go to the website. Same thing, you can see it again. And the resources of EPROM. Alright, new factory. Download the zip file. Okay, and now go to downloads. In the finder you can find the library. Okay, open the thing. And now, uh, let's go in the finder to the music, um, you can see the path, alright? Users, uh, your username and music. And you can see the Vipro library, alright? You enter in this, and in the zip file you can uh, copy uh, everything that is in the zip file, and you place it there. Same thing, that on Windows, alright? And now, uh, you can see the thing, you refresh. I want to close the, the plugin window and reopen, and you can see um, the thing installed. All right, you can also load the kits uh, directly from the kit thing, and this is the same thing. All right, and don't forget to activate the export mode. So this is for Mac. Um, now, by the way, uh, there is another thing uh, which is uh, you can import, uh, you know, old uh, V2 presets. This is presets, not banks, alright? Uh, VPROM2 can, can save uh, uh, FXP presets, which is all VST2 format um, presets, and can also save or import uh, uh, F FX, uh, FXB, uh, which, is stands, which stands for banks, okay? VPROM2 can actually import uh, preset FXP, but not, uh, not banks, okay? So in case you have a bank, uh, and you want to import uh, some of the presets or, or into VPROM3, uh, you need to actually first uh, save them as individual presets, and then you can import them, alright? So let's say, on Mac, for example, oh, you do that, you go to PROM, you go to import V2, alright? And then, I have some, uh, a folder already set on the factory library, and there is some old FXP, uh, you know, old preset, and you load, and basically it will load the settings of the presets with everything, including uh, if you have uh, a custom EPROMs, like this one, uh, all the custom EPROMs will also be loaded uh, with the presets. Actually, the cool thing is that um, they will um, 
the, the custom, uh, any custom EEPROM in the preset will be extracted, and you will be able to now find this in your user library. And this is a uh, this is a really cool uh, a cool feature. Let me uh, demonstrate. So this was on Mac. Let's go back to um, actually that PC right here. Okay, we are back here. Um, let's say I want uh, to actually import a preset. So right there, I uh, may have some preset somewhere. Not there because we have just installed this thing. Um, let's go there. Okay, I got some individual presets. Uh, I'm gonna say, let's say this one. I'm gonna load this one. Edit James uh, Custom Kit. And inside this, I know there is Custom EPROMs. So I'm loading this. Bam. And well, they. Now, let's see. Uh, let's slot, for example. Oh, let's go to home directory. And you, you can, can see there is a new folder in there, which stands for User Imported. Okay, and this is automatically uh, created if you import a preset which have uh, custom sounds in there. Now when you click, you can see actually the name of the preset. Uh, and inside this thing, you can see the custom prompts and you can reuse them. That's the good thing. You, you, you could not do that in V2, okay? Now you have the individual files as well. So this is pretty cool. Of course, if you want to organize this thing, you should not touch, uh, you know, the folder and things like that if you want to keep, uh, you know, uh, the integrity of the thing. But you can still add things in there or uh, uh, around there. Uh, you can easily manage your VPROM library directly from your, uh, your computer. That's a cool thing. You don't need to be in there to actually manage the thing. This is a regular folder and file in there and you have uh, direct access. Uh, no problem with this. So this is, um, this is a, cool, um, a cool way. Uh, let me just... Uh, rather this thing right here all right so you can easily access this thing this is in your documents okay so you access uh, pretty easily documents right there inside 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 there you can do what you want uh, for example you can go to the, the link drive and uh, select some files let's say this one you can copy them you can go here you can create another folder okay let's say custom 21 right there then you press on your prompts and you organize uh, the thing like you want. The only thing uh, you need to keep consistent is the factory library. You can actually share kits, uh, but it's for if it's for a local usage, you can do anything. Uh, the plugin itself will just reflect uh, what is in there. All right, you can see here, custom twenty one, and bang. Okay. Uh, if you if you set, if you try to search, for example, right there. Okay, you can also find, okay, when you do this, this reset, when you go back, if you messed up, this also resets, okay. So if, this was, this is a long, 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 nasty presentation of, uh, you know, uh, this factory library, but uh, I, I hope it's clear enough for everybody how to install this. And uh, let's go now to the uh, next topic, which is going to be pretty good.